Hello, my name is Greg Minton, and I am doing my extra credit project on the story of the Kelly Gang, released in 1906, uh, directed by Charles Tate, and it is said to be the first feature-length film ever made. Um, director, producers, and cinematographer. So Charles Tate is the director, uh, born in Castlemaine, Victoria, Australia. He partnered with his two brothers as Australian concert film and theatrical entrepreneurs. And of course, he is most well known for writing and directing what is said to be the world's first feature film, uh, The Story of the Kelly Gang. John and Evan Tate, his brothers, uh, were the lead producers on the film with Johnson and Gibson's assistance. Miller Johnson uh, was born in Australia, and his specific birthplace is unknown, and he is believed to not only have helped with production, but is also believed to be the cinematographer for the film. Uh, William Alfred Gibson was born in London, England, and moved to Australia as a teenager. He first was a chemist for Miller Johnson's father's company and supplied chemicals to some of the first film exhibitors in Melbourne then went into screening films for the public. After garnering a good sense of knowledge for photography and film processing, he joined Charles's brothers and Miller Johnson in producing this film. Interesting enough, uh, William Alfred Gibson and Miller Johnson actually made their own company um, that uh, helped with like cinematography and uh, I guess like producing for different films as well. Incorporating the story of the Kelly Gang 2 film. So this film is a biographical crime drama that is based off of the true story of Australian outlaw Ned Kelly and his gang. Since 1879, this story has been interpreted within five popular plays before being adapted to film by Charles Tate. And it is said that it was actually Charles' brothers, Frank and John, who wrote the script for the film. So, um... Two things here that are really interesting takeaways. Um, obviously, this was a very popular play um, in, rather than a film um, at the time because plays were a lot more popular than when film was first being created. Second, uh, Charles Tate actually didn't even write necessarily the um, film, which is a common um a uh, common thing that many people believe, but it was actually his brother, Shrink and John, who primarily wrote the script, but obviously he probably might have helped out a little bit with it, being that he was the director. Shooting the film. So the film's runtime is a total of 70 minutes in length. It was shot primarily in wide shot to resemble a live play, but does have two particular scenes that do feature close-ups. The producer spent a total of £1,000 in order to complete the film, and the film earned £25,000 in return. So it was a big payout, and it is also said that the film was stored on a 35mm nitrate release print, which explains why a lot of the footage got damaged or um, was said to be completely lost to history by 1840. Much of the footage left for the film, uh, again, was lost or damaged, but uh, the National Film and Sound Archive of Australia was able to find many different people who actually recovered some of the footage of the film. Um, and this one in particular actually shows uh, officers capturing Ned Kelly. So I thought this was really interesting. So as you saw, that was one of the close-ups actually in the film uh, towards the end when the officers capture him and kind of walk off screen. So I think um, during this time, that was, um, camera shots weren't very common or I don't think they were even like uh, taken into consideration. So it was really interesting uh, to know that they used that. That was my um, extra credit project. And I do want to thank you so much for listening in.